G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to look at a project I wrote be around 10 years ago, um, I think in Delphi 6, although it might have been Delphi 5, um, but it's certainly been in Delphi 7, Delphi 2006 and 2007. This is the last version I've, I've, I've uh, compiled it in. So today we're going to compile it in Delphi XE3 and with the inventional, um, of the, well, the, the goal being uh, rewriting it or re, re Purposing it, re-converting uh, it um, uh, to FireMonkey. So I, know, I don't know much about FireMonkey at the moment. I need a, a uh, sort of non-trivial project to um, sort of cut my teeth on, so to speak. So we're going to be doing that. The the project um, was I yeah, read it as I said about about ten years ago, uh, and it was to analyse investment property deals. So I'm, I'm a property investor in my spare time. Um, and I wrote this to analyze uh, property investments, and I used it to analyze my first property investment deal, which I, I bought um, pro probably yeah, about, ten, about 10 years ago, uh, and, and still have, along with uh, a few others. So, um, the, my eventual goal is to make, uh, not only to um, port the, the application to FireMonkey and modernize its interface and, and make it look, look pretty, uh, it, it, it looked okay in its day, but it's, it's now pretty dated um, and weird. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, I intend to make a um, commercial video on um, porting VCL apps, and this is going to be the, the example. So uh, I'll probably uh, somewhat open source the uh, application, um, and you'll be able to download it and sort of follow along with the uh, conversion to FireMonkey which should be uh, hopefully fairly straightforward, but uh, I, yeah, I don't know if I make it very well at this stage, so it, um, we'll see how it goes. So, um, so the idea is, is I'll be making a commercial video on it, uh, and I've got to give a talk next year, so it might be on that. Um, f find out. Um, so and on, on the subject of, of commercial videos, I, I should mention that uh, I've just released T Client Dataset Part Two, my video uh, on that, and follows on for Part One. Um, most people who have bought Part One have bought also bought Part Two, uh, and which is good. It kind of indicates that the first first one was uh, quite good, so uh, it's, it's always quite pleasing. Um, and uh, to, to find that, just go to learndelphi.tv and click on the products link, and you'll be able to find it fairly readily there. Um, and it, it pretty much covers, it's four and a half hours on T-Client dataset and covers everything not related to talking to databases or multi-tier development. Um, and we'll be covering those in future videos, uh, hopefully. So um, let's let's take a look. Uh, it's, it's enough of a, enough of a, a digression on, on uh, um, my, my past videos. Let's look at my current one. Um, and uh, yes, I'm on the show. So we'll start by trying to fire up uh, the Propic Pre-Analyzer project, uh, and it's not even going to open because it's missing a package um, with some controls in it. So in particular, the Alistair image button, um, L image checkbox, and oh, it's briefly missed it, but uh, T page control EX. Um, so and some bits on uh, ID HTTP, which uh, are no longer present. So let's close that off and open the uh, L image buttons. Now I've already installed uh, Quick Reports and QR Design, which are the uh, reporting package that, that it uses. So let's um, let's not install that now. Let's add the page control ex in there as well, which is a page control without any borders, effectively. So it's uh, pretty uh, pretty simple. Uh, written by this person, um, sort of fourteen-ish years ago, uh, and probably not modified. Oh, I think yeah, I made a slight adjustment there. Um, so we can install that, and that will install the various controls into the IDE. I'll not save that for now, and then we can open 
property analyzer again and it'll get a bit, get a bit further so we're missing uh, the data property on our bitmap up on our, our image button so I'll just go ignore all and ignore all and if we try to run it it's not going to find the various units so what I'll do is I'll just add those units to the um, uh, to the project which is kind of the easiest laziest way of doing it just to get things compiled and we can now no we can't quite run it QR fix not found okay that's true let's just delete those so that was a, a hack for quick reports 3 point something I think this is uh, running quick reports 5 so um, not not required quite so much so this is the application now what I intend to do is uh, port it to FireMonkey uh, and modernize the interface somewhat um, this possibly looks quite reasonable eight years ago. Uh, it looks a little bit dated now, but um, anyhow, uh, a quick quick tour of it. So it, it's for analyzing property deals, so you enter in uh, the various aspects of the property. Um, there's details about the mortgages and what have you, uh, and images about the property, that kind of thing. Um, this is a property I bought. Um, actually, this trees are no longer there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, maybe maybe longer than eight years. Maybe it was ten years ago. Maybe it was ten years ago. Uh, long time ago, yeah. Maybe Delphi Delphi six or seven. Um, I think I, I've had it ported to Delphi two thousand seven or two thousand six in the past. Um, but I've not done hardly any work on it since I, I originally wrote it. Um, so yes. Uh, so long time ago. And it also there's a, a list of properties and there's a, uh, various others and you could bring out the details about about that one but we'll, we'll stick with uh, 90 wookie as you 90, 90, 90 wookie careers um, and oh we can print a report and it has the uh, sort of basic analysis of the cash flow. Not the easiest to read of reports, but uh, it's got a lot on there. Um, we can see that our its cash flows uh, negative initially, and then after year two, it's, it's positive. Um, so anyway, this is my the, the first property I bought, and I, I wrote this uh, program to do an, analyze property deals, and I managed to use it uh, to analyze my original original purchase. I've bought a, a few since then. Um, so that's pretty much it. Does that help? Help arriving. Uh, okay, no help. And yeah, so there's a few a few things that have uh, is there some tax changes that have, have have occurred that would need to be incorporated. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's pretty much a, um, a fully working uh, application and uh, sort of real time analysis crank down capital gains or um, interest rates the like five point something percent at the moment but um, so uh, yeah so that's pretty much it uh, I want to get this uh, converted over to five monkey because I need a, a project to uh, um, actually learn five monkey Oh, the, the um, let's let's load up the main form. Um, which is this one, and we see that uh, these are my uh, image L image checkboxes and uh, L image buttons, L list image buttons, and there's a uh, a number of those, and we can. Uh, so this inherits from T graphic control, and basically it has, um, oops, a nice unit, unit, unit one. Uh, got around to renaming it. Um, uh, it has some image properties. So it uh, takes an image list. So basically, um, it's uh, I could replace these with speed buttons these days, or oh, no, but buttons. No, regular buttons, T button. Um, and uh, L image 
storage checkbox. It's also a graphic control, so it has a checked property of some sign, some kind. Anyway, I'm digressing, um, and this is registered. Uh, if we actually look at the right unit, there's a, a register procedure uh, which registers those controls. If you're not familiar with um, installing uh, controls into Delphi or writing your own um, custom controls. Um, anyway, that that is the application. Uh, I will. There's a lot to do, um, so I probably want to get rid of all the non-standard controls and convert them to, to sort of standard controls, uh, Delphi controls, so that they can be um, converted uh, using the MITRE converter. Uh, I, I probably won't design it from scratch. I'll probably see if I can um, see how how well it can be converted. Um, there's a data module as well, uh, which it's got some image list on it, so that they won't uh, go across to FireMonkey, but um, everything else should. Um, what do I mask? It's there, but anyway. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of calculations in there, which uh, I'll need to convert across as well. It'd be nice to uh, throw in some unit tests in there before I, I get porting it. Um, and then sort of I can run sort of tests before and after and, and make sure that everything's ported okay. Um, and also probably get it all into version control. So throw it into, uh, into subversion or maybe even I'll sort of open source it, but it's effectively a commercial application. So I haven't, haven't completely decided about that. Um, but it'd be interesting to uh, to uh, uh, put it in version control, control um, so that we could have an actual uh, project to analyze. Um, and even do a, a practice convert yourself. Um, so that's probably all I need to go over for this video. Uh, we'll be looking at, at this project in the future and uh, hopefully making it um, somewhat more attractive and um, refactoring the, the code somewhat to make it a little bit uh, a little bit better. Um, I wrote this uh, in my early days of Delphi programming. Um, so um, not the best of code, but uh, certainly very functional and lots of people used it to analyze property deals. Um, so anyhow, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv and I'll catch you next time.